your life probably sucks because you don't have standards. Setting standard is like setting rules for your life. If you are not setting standards, you have no rules, you have no walls, you have no boundaries, and that might be why your life and relationships look a little bit crazy. Nobody gives a furf about your standards. Standards are for you and you alone. And that is why I say standards are energetic. We don't need to have a conversation about standards, meaning that you don't need to have a conversation about somebody like, you need to treat me like this, I expect to be treated like that. Nobody cares. You know how people are going to know that this is how you expect to be treated because that's how you treat yourself. They see how you treat yourself, therefore they know how to treat you. When you start treating yourself crazy, that's when people start treating you crazy too. You're setting the standard that I'm okay with being cheated on. If you constantly have the standard of not having the money that you want in your bank account, it is because you've set the standard that it is normal for me to deplete all of my resources and run out of money. Okay, these are all standards, but we get to decide what standards we will and will not have in life. Hey guys, it's Nigel. Welcome back to my channel. I help awaken women create their dream life through manifestation and mindset. Today, we're going to talk about how to create standards in your life. Your life probably sucks because you are not saying what you will and will not have in your life. So let's have a conversation about this. I noticed that a lot of women might not like where they are in life, but they're not setting the standard for what is and is not allowed in their life. Setting standard is like setting rules for your life. If you are not setting standards, you have no rules, you have no walls, you have no boundaries, and that might be why your life and relationships look a little bit crazy. Fear not, we're going to get it together. Here are some thoughts that I have on how you can create standards so that you can have your dream life. Let's get into it. So setting standards is all energetic, okay? It's all energetic. People think that setting standards is about walking up to somebody and telling them, this is what you're going to do for me, and this is what you're going to do, and this is how you need to act, and this is how you're going to behave. If you want to hang out with me, if you want me to be in your life, and you need to do X, Y, and Z. That is not standards. I get it. A lot of us, we learned about standards or a lack of having standards through getting our boundaries broken in relationships, right? Typically, we create standards, we want to have standards to keep ourselves safe and comfortable in relationships. But did you know that you could be having standards for the life that you're living? For example, if you have an incredibly junky house, oh my gosh, I'm about to get in trouble already for saying this, if you have an incredibly junky house, you are setting the standards that I'm okay with living in mess, right? If you continuously attract men that cheat on you, you're setting the standard that I'm okay with being cheated on. If you constantly have the standard of not having the money that you want in your bank account, it is because you've set the standard that it is normal for me to deplete all of my resources and run out of money. Okay, these are all standards, but we get to decide what standards we will and will not have in life. So remember that when setting standards, it's all energetic. You could set a standard, aka set a boundary, and you don't even have to use your words. You don't even have to articulate your standards or your boundaries to people. This is how you get people to know what your standards or boundaries are. It's energetic. You set it within yourself and then when you're going through your life and you're experiencing life and things, people, situations do not meet or set up to your standard, you have to walk away, right? If you go over to your friend's house and you have the standard that people are supposed to speak to you with kindness and someone starts talking to you crazy, you have to pick yourself up and walk out of the front door. Why? Because if a standard is broken, we don't waste our time arguing with people about this is how you need to treat me and this is how you have to act me and this is how you have to, this is how you have to. Nobody gives a furf about your standards. Standards are for you and you alone. And that is why I say standards are energetic. 
We don't need to have a conversation about standards, meaning that you don't need to have a conversation about somebody like you need to treat me like this. I expect to be treated like that. Nobody cares. You know how people are going to know that this is how you expect to be treated because that's how you treat yourself. They see how you treat yourself. Therefore, they know how to treat you. When you start treating yourself crazy, that's when people start treating you crazy too. Let's talk about crazy, toxic, narcissistic, and abusive relationships just for 30 seconds. If you happen to find yourself in a situation like that, understand those people are only treating you the way that you feel about yourself. If you feel like you're a piece of shit and a nobody... And you find yourself in a relationship with somebody who treats you just like that. Understand they are only mirroring back to you how you feel about yourself. I digress. So when I when we talk about setting standards and how standards are all energetic, I want to teach you guys this. Something that I taught myself because I was tired of experiencing life below my standards. Meaning that I was experiencing things in my reality and I'm like, this is below my standards. I know I deserve more than this. Okay, I'm going to give you guys an example. So in my life, uh, I remember that something that used to trip me up and maybe it was because like, I don't know exactly why it used to trip me up. I don't know why I used to get so triggered by this, y'all. But, like, something that used to really trigger me was not having money to put gas in my car. But not only not having money to put gas in my car. Because, like, I would have just enough to, like, you know, like, when you're like, oh, I'm just going to put 10 bucks in the in the tank. I'm just going to put 15 bucks in the tank. I'm just going to put 20 bucks on the tank. That used to start to annoy me, right? I used to get annoyed that I had to keep going to the gas tank and put $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $
people are not turning on that awareness that they're worthy. Therefore, they are living very traumatic experiences because they don't know how to activate that power of awareness that I'm already worthy. And again, religion kind of messes people up in the head to make them think that you're born in sin. You, as soon as you're born, you're already not good enough. You already need to beg for beg for the right to be good enough. You need to beg for Jesus to think that you're good enough. Beg for God to think that you're worthy. Beg for... No. If you're here, you're already worthy. Okay? If God put you on the planet, you're already worthy. God is maneuvering through you as you. If you are alive, if you have the gift of consciousness... You're already worthy. God is already animating your body right now. God is already living, moving, and breathing through you. You are the hands and feet of God on the ground. So then how do you not believe that you can do absolutely anything that you set your mind to? If God is within you and God cannot fail, then what makes you think that you cannot do absolutely anything that you want on this planet? Okay, I digress. That's step number one, acknowledging your undeniable worthiness. You have to accept that you're worthy of anything that you ask for. That's how you set standards. No matter what I ask for, I already know the answer is yes. Therefore, I don't beg, plead, and ask God if I'm good enough because the answer is already yes. That's how I set standards. Whatever I ask for, the universe is like, yes, princess, yes, queen, Yes, beloved. Yes, my child. Whatever you want, the answer is yes. You don't need to beg me for it. I want you to have it. Once you have that relationship with the universe, it's easier to set standards. Okay, so that's step number one, undeniable worthiness. Step number two is to set the standard. How do you set standards? By setting them. You set standards by saying what you get to have. So I want you guys to practice this sentence because, again, this is like that example I just gave with me putting gas in my car. I told myself, Nija, we're done with the struggle story. You've been telling yourself this story that you're only supposed to put 15 bucks, 10 bucks, 20 bucks in your gas tank every time you go to the gas station. I was living in that story of scarcity because I didn't set a new standard that said no. From now on, the standard is we fill up the gas tank. From now on, the standard is we're going to have more than enough money to fill up the gas tank. From now on, the standard is I deserve to put money in my gas tank. You guys, your standard might look like, from now on, I deserve to have delicious, fresh food in my refrigerator, right? For those of you guys who have been, like, struggling with not being able to put food in your fridge. Or maybe you're, like, struggling, like, you only think you deserve dollar menu food or fast food from the dollar menu. Or you can only eat at fast food because you don't believe that you're worthy of having delicious food that is good for you and healthy for you. That's a standard, Right? If you keep ending up in toxic relationships, that's a standard. You've decided this is what I will have. So the way that you set new standards is say the sentence, I get to have blank, fill in the blank for me. I get to have gas in my car and I get to fill up the tank. Another one for me. I get to make money doing what I love. I no longer have to suffer for money. That's the new standard. I used to have the standard that in my head, I thought everybody had to suffer for money. I thought nobody liked to do what they were doing for money. I thought everybody was miserable. Everybody woke up every day miserable. That's the norm. That was the standard. And then I decided this is not going to be my reality anymore. I get to set the standard. I'm setting the new standard. The new standard is I get to get paid doing what I love. That was the standard I set in my head. That was the life I started to live. That was the reality that I started to create because I set the standard. Okay, another example is, you know, if you're like trying to attract love and relationships, I set the standard that I get to be in a healthy relationship, right? I set the standard that I am no longer addicted to toxic relationships. I set the standard that I I love myself, I decide that I will have self-love. That is the standard. That is the standard. I will have money in my bank account from now on. That is the standard. How do you set a standard? Profess what you will have. Say it. 
to set a standard, acknowledge what you will have. And again, this is not saying I need to go up to that guy and tell him, this is my standard. These are my standards. You don't need to call your mom and say, you know what, mom, this is my standard now. You don't need to call your sister, your sibling. You don't need to call people and announce to them that this is your standard. Setting standards is for yourself. So don't be cringy, right? and call people up like (laughs) we're like you know what from now on I only date providers and I only want to be with a man who pays my bills let me next time I go on a date I'm gonna tell him my standard is you have to pay my you don't need to say all that because when you energetically set a standard people know how to treat you based on how you treat yourself based on the energy that you're ruminating that you're radiating you don't need to open your mouth and say anything we get it That's how you set standards. It's energetic, okay? And so profess what you get to have. Set the new rules. How you set standards is you set the new rules. I get to have gas in my tank and I get to fill it all the way up. I get to make money doing what I love and I'm no longer going to struggle. I'm no longer available for not having money in my bank account. I'm no longer available for spending my bank account until there's nothing left. I'm no longer available to being in toxic relationships. I'm no longer available for people lying to me. I'm no longer available for people cheating, you know, like whatever it is. I'm no longer available for leaving my house looking crazy. I digress. I'm not going to touch that one with the pole. Not today. Anyway, here is step number three on how to set standards to change your life. Step number three is no one breaks your standards. You do. This is a mindset shift. I know we love to blame other people. Oh, he did this to me. Oh, she did that to me. Oh, they did this. Oh, they did that. Oh, they did this. Nobody breaks your standards. You do. Meaning that if somebody does something to you that is below the standard that you have set for yourself, you get to decide to walk away from them. If you decide not to walk away from them, that is the that is you setting the standard. Okay? We don't need to have a conversation. We don't need to argue about it. We don't need to X, Y, and Z. If somebody steps on your boundaries and you... It, you know, like, of, of course, be mature. There are some things like, okay, you're in a relationship with somebody. You can be mature enough to have a conversation. But anytime you find yourself arguing with somebody over something that you know that you deserve, it's not necessary. Okay? So, I am going to leave you guys with this. If you enjoyed this video and you want help on how to create energetic standards and boundaries in your life so that you can create your dream life, why don't you consider joining Dream Life Academy? We are a private community of awakened women on a mission to create our dream life. We talk about goal setting. We talk about setting standards. We talk about what we will and will not have. We talk about manifestation mindset and everything in between. If you're interested, the links are down below. I love you guys. Thank you for hanging out with me today and I will see you in my next video. Bye.